Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your Shapoko touch probe to the Shapoko CNC. Uh, the instructions are online, so it's, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, but I'm just going to give you a quick uh, video, uh, show you the process, show you the steps. The first step is to determine the version of your control board. Now I've already taken the cover off uh, for reference. So uh, the version number is written right here in the lower left corner. And mine is a version 2.4E. According to the instructions, the D and the E uh, have the same connections. So if you have a different model, you should really re consult your, the instructions online uh, and see how those need to be connected. But the touch probe, if you're not aware, uh, is a really great, easy to use tool to find your Z height zero and to also not just find it, but to set it, your Z height zero, but also your X and your Y zero. And uh, once it goes through that probe process, it sets it automatically for you. You don't have to uh, do anything. And I'll show you that process in a moment. On your control board, there's a set of pins right here. And they are labeled reserve. And those are reserved for the touch probe. For my model, I can use the cable that comes right out of the touch probe. It has this connector on it, and I can plug it right in there. It only goes on one way. Slide it in gently, and then there's a little opening here in the cover, and just route the cable through there. That's all there is to connecting it. Now I'll show you how to uh, use it. Okay, the way that the Shapoko touch probe works is that it senses when the cutter touches it. And the way it does that, it has this little ground lead. After you've connected the touch probe to the control box, the way that I showed you, this just needs to go in a location that's grounded. And so I put it here at the front of the machine that holds the, uh, the Y1 belt in place. That's the right size, so I just screwed it in there. And it has a little alligator clip. Now when you're using it, you connect it right to the cutter. But a good habit to get into before you use it, every time, you see there is a green light. If you take the alligator clip and touch it, that will turn red. You see that? Okay, that way you know it's working. If you touch it and it does not turn red, then it's not working. And that means that if you try to use it, it's going to jam your cutter into this probe and not stop. Something's going to break or it's going to start skipping on the belt. But let's not take that chance. Um, I forgot to mention, this is active as soon as you turn your uh, router on. So with your powers connected, turned on, this is active, you can test it, okay? I didn't have to do anything to set that up. It just, that's the way it works. Okay, so there are two different ways to set your zero. One way is it will set all three zeros at the same time, that's an X, Y, Z, zero. And what to do that, if you notice, the probe has this notch that is routered out, that is cut out. And that just, your piece, or you put this onto your piece right in that corner. So let's say this is my piece and I'm going to put Put the probe on it, just like so. Now I will connect my alligator clip. The first step in positioning the probe is to do a rough positioning. So to do that, I'll just use the carbide motion 
software, the jog function, and move it over the over the piece, over the probe. I guess I can move it a little faster than that. Okay, so it's roughly positioned. Now there is a probe feature in the software, so I will select that. Oh, sorry. I will select the probe and watch it go to work. So the next step, sorry, after I select the probe, we're going to do all three in this operation. So we're going to probe for the corner. It wants to know what tool I have in. That's the 201 quarter inch end mill that came with the unit. And I will begin probing. It goes down, does the Z. It'll do the X next. Okay, it is finished. I will select done. And if you notice the position, X is zero, Y is zero, Z is at 28 millimeter. Yeah, 28 millimeter. Uh, so it's ready to go. So it says it's 28 millimeter above the workpiece. So I'd be ready to start a job at this point. Obviously, I would not, well, you didn't see that at all. Obviously, I would not be doing this this way if I was going to do a job because that piece is not secured. This was just a demonstration on how to use the software. For this demonstration, I'm going to show how to set only the Z height, zero. Now, when you do that, it's a little bit different. You remember when we do the X, Y, and Z, we put the touch probe over the corner of the piece. But when we are doing the Z only, we set the touch probe on top of the piece, just like I've done here. Very important step. So here we are. I have it already pre-positioned. I can go into the software, the jog function, hit probe. I can choose to probe height, Z, and then begin probing. One of the interesting things about this is if you are trying to set the X, Y, and Z at the same time, you cannot do that with a, a V bit. It won't work. So when we are using a V-bit, we may choose to set the X and the Y manually and then use the probe for the Z height only. Uh, just an added feature, added option. So here I hit begin probing. It came down, it touched, and it's done. Pretty simple. Not much to it. That's the way I like things. Let me know what you think. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do a lot more beginner Shapoko, uh, beginner CNC type of uh, stuff. And uh, 
hopefully you enjoy what you see and leave me, leave me some comments. Maybe I can learn from you also. I'd like to know what you would like to see as far as uh, CNC projects and I'll try to work those in. Thanks. See you next time.